Hello guys and welcome back to episode 6 of my Minecraft survival series where as you can see we now have a nether portal. So the last episode did really well and it's just a couple of comments I want to shout out before we get into things. Right so the first comment was by Jay Anis and he said please make sure you full screen mode before recording boss. So don't worry mate I'll make sure it's full screen before we begin today's episode. I also had a couple of other people saying a full screen as well so don't worry guys I've got you with that one. Goku Big Soup said a few things, he said a Terraria or Minecraft Hardcore series would be good. Definitely going to do some Minecraft Hardcore in the future and probably a 100 day series as well. Uh, he said you can make a spyglass using copper um, and amethyst, I think it's called. So I'll definitely check that one out. Thank you Christy, she said this video is epic, great job. I love the support there. Luke Lenz said, please can you make the music a tad softer? It's almost overpowering your voice but otherwise than that. Great video, so thank you very much Luke, and I'll make sure with the edit that I put the music in a little bit softer. Kingston, I appreciate you as well saying that this is the exact content you're looking for, so I appreciate you bro, welcome to the channel, I appreciate you staying. Alright, and with that being said, I was thinking about going into the nether, but I need to just have a look at my tools again. So, obviously we want to have our shield equipped, uh, we've got plenty of iron, which is good, we've got our full iron armour there, which we need. The one thing that I did want, though, to have for the gas is a bow and arrow, which we don't have. Uh, we have two arrows, so I don't think they're going to do us any good. I think what I'm going to do quickly is go make a bow, craft a few more arrows, and then we'll jump into the nether and we'll see what spawn we got. Yes, that's it. Did drop some as well. Sweet. Oh, hello. I'll take them. Okay, I've got 29 arrows. Right, guys, so... Uh, I came back to base to get some arrows and stuff and uh, what you can see right here is I made a little chicken pen so basically I needed some feathers to get the arrows I realized I didn't have any chickens so we've made this here we've got a few feathers the chicken who lived come to die and now as you can see in the inventory we've got 29 arrows so it's not loads but it should be enough uh, I also realised I might as well with all the seeds I've collected, as you can see now I've got like 37. I thought I might as well start a little farm, so we've got this wheat farm going on here. We've got some wheat. Right, so we'll make some bread. Got a decent amount there. Uh, I'm just going to quickly store the seeds and the wheat in here as well, just because we don't want to be taking seeds to the nether. And now uh, let's go back to our nether portal and let's see where we spawn. Alright, so here's the portal guys. Let's hop in and let's see where we spawn. This is the, I think this is the first time on Minecraft on the PC that I've been to the nether. So I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, well, I kind of am. Oh my, what the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the, f what the hell? Right. This is kind of a good spawn. We've spawned, oh, uh, is it a good spawn though? This is a good spawn, but this is a really hard spawn. Why am I shaking, bro? Why am I actually nervous? Do you know what it is? Wait, do I have the gold? Yeah, I have the gold chest plate on. So hopefully the uh, the zombie pigmen shouldn't attack me. But um, you can never be too cautious, you know what I mean? I feel like they will. Yeah, I, I don't like warped forests. Like, these are for the pros, mate, and I'm not a Minecraft pro. Right, one thing, yeah, with Nether Quartz, as you can see, my levels are absolutely flying up. Like, we've already gained a level just from that little bit. Nether Quartz, mining that, is a great way to boost your levels. So, if ever you're in a warped forest, try and find some Nether Quartz. That's the way to go, man. Right, this is a good test. Are you going to attack me? Are they going to attack me? I don't think they are. Yes, all right, good. <laughs> I was scared because I, th I think when you wear gold armor, you don't alert the pigmen. There we go. Right, relax. You can trade with these guys. If you chuck a bit of gold at them, they, they drop you something. What did he... Did he just drop blaze rods? Oh, oh, what the hell is that? Oh, my God. Fire-resistant potion and spectacle arrows. Yo, that's insane. Hey, do it again. Hey, come back. Give me another trade. That's sick. They can sometimes um, give you ender pearls as well. Yo, he just threw a fuck. What? He just threw a book at me. What's that? Ah, oh, soul speed. What on earth is that? Hey, boys. Have some more, mate. 
Oh, yeah, these trades are sick. I'm gassed. Uh, these trades are actually sick. What you got for me, man? What are you saying? What was that? I think that was that was rubbish. Oh, he gave me a piece of obsidian um, and a bit of leather. That might actually come in handy. Take more. <laughs> They're so desperate for gold. Oh my god. Oh, wait, what is that? Um, what did they give me? A fire charge? That's not bad. Right, I'm sick of trading with these boys now. I'm just actually really happy at the fact that they're not going to attack me. Because if they attack me, bro, I'm dead. I swear. Um, oh, shit. Oh, my God. He did so much damage, bro. What the hell? I'm just trying to get my... Qu I can hear him. I can hear more. I don't want to fight. Please don't hit me again. Like, bro, I'm wearing gold. I'm wearing gold chest plate. They're not supposed to get me. Oh, mate, I'm not. I'm not scared, bro. I'm actually scared. I came in here for some. Oh, nah, I'm not in the mood. I don't want you, you fat piece of. Oh my days! He flung me. Ah. Jesus Christ, die! How fat are you? Yes! Unlucky, bro, get wrecked. Wait, I haven't. Why didn't I just do this? Wrecked. Oh my. Whoa! I hit him on the decline. Bro, look how many hoglins there are. Nah, nah, nah. I don't want to go this way. You know what, you guys... I'm going over to my other piglin boys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, these ones are... These ones are rubbish. They don't even hit you. Not today, thank you. Look at him. He's scared. Get wrecked. Oh, I just realised the world. I can just chuck gold at them. Yeah, guys, if you didn't know that, you can actually chuck gold at the piglets and they don't attack you. So I think next time I need to do that. Instead of just trying to fight them all. Like, well, you can just not take the trade and attack them. Or you can just let them do their thing. And then leave. Like, oh my god, look at the size of that tree. Right, I see some more quartz. That's what I came in here for. I want to get level 30 so I can do an enchant. I'm probably going to get knocked off. I do kind of want to go down there. But at the same time, I kind of don't. Oh, I need to stop being a little wimp. I need to move. I need to get out of here. Oh, let's not let's stop being a wimp. Oh, another hoglin. Hey, you're too fat to fit through here, surely. Where you going, mate? Hey, he's too fat. Look at him. Fatty boom boom. Get wrecked. More quartz. This is what I came here for. Give me that. No more hoglins and piglets. This is a terrible spawn in terms of like, I've just been spawned straight into like a battlefield. Uh, this was not a good idea. Oh, we're level 23 now and I see some skeletons over there. Last time I saw skeletons, it was near a fortress. So I kind of want to just take these out. Oh, why is he despawned? Bro just despawned. Oi, he's, he's a rubbish quickscoper, mate. He doesn't know I used to play Modern Warfare 2. Like, you don't stand a chance. Oh, excuse me, piglin. I need. I mean no harm. I don't want to fight. Um, does that mean there's a fortress nearby? I don't know, man. I don't know if this means there's a fortress nearby or not. Oh, I hate... If I ever hear a ghast, I'm just like, nah. Don't want to deal with it. Hello and welcome to this voiceover section of the video. In the last episode, I experimented with an unscripted face cam voiceover... So today I'm doing the opposite. If you watched the last episode of the series, please let me know in the comments which style you prefer. So while I was in the warped forest in the nether, I decided to grab some of the wood here before moving on to finding more golden quartz blocks to build up my XP. I'd definitely say that the best way to get XP in Minecraft is to mine nether quartz. If you can think of a better way, let me know in the comments of this video. At this point while searching for nether quartz, I came across the nether fortress. With lava pouring into it, I initially didn't want to check it out. So I continued to mine more nether quartz around the fortress 
but eventually, after realising it would make for better content, I summed up the courage to go down into the fortress. When I arrived at the fortress, I got an achievement called a terrible fortress, and I didn't realise at first that it would be really quiet there because of this. I continued to mine more quartz as I entered the fortress, still conscious about increasing my levels. I then came to a bit of a fork in the path, but eventually decided to head upstairs, well, after mining more quartz that is. When I got upstairs, I found a blaze spawner, and armed with my splash potion of fire resistance, I went for it. Originally, I didn't know if the potion had worked, so I decided to test it out, and it seemed to have worked. With my newfound confidence, I charged at the blazes, looking for some blaze rods. However, I got a little too confident, and didn't realise how much damage the blazes would do if they touched me. Feeling a little nervous now, I tried to take some blazes out from a distance with my bow and arrows, and when there was just one left, I finished it with my sword and gathered the rods. I then had a very close call with the blazes and realised that without my fire resistance potion, I didn't stand much of a chance. I went down to one and a half hearts and didn't feel very confident anymore. As the blazes filled the room, I had the idea of trying to tunnel around them and hit them through a block. I saw one through the tunnel and tried to make him fire first. He didn't, I then went to attack and I nearly died. I wasn't having much success. I then ended up getting surrounded. I still don't know how the blaze got into that room, but it was a very intense moment, and thinking that I was going to die, I decided to run out of the fortress. After some deliberation, I decided that I could take two blazes from close range. I also wanted the rods, but after taking out the second one, another one appeared. But luckily, I was able to take this one out too. I still wasn't satisfied though, I think I thought I could come away with like 20 blaze rods or something, so I decided to fight one more blaze which I could see near the tunnel I had created, killed him, got his blaze rod and made a dodgy escape, almost dying again. On the way out I realised my pickaxe was nearly broken, so I mined my last bit of never quartz, bringing me to level 31. I did a little more exploration of the fortress, finding a chest with nothing in it, before coming across some nether war. I mined that up for some potions later on and came across a second lot of nether wart, which I took too. I then came across a second chest with a single piece of gold in it before coming across a third, which had much more. After that, I decided it was time to leave and make my grand escape. This game wasn't going to make that easy for me though, and so a skeleton shot me on the way up and literally ran after me, but he was no match. After what felt like forever, I finally made it back to my nether portal and after placing some nether rack down to stop me walking straight into lava, next time I came into the nether, I took my portal back to the overworld. Getting back home, for some reason I walked straight into a mob party, but I decided to just leave them to it and let them burn in the morning. Speaking of which, in the morning I cooked up some pork chops I got from the piglins and I decided to use a couple of blaze rods I had for brewing potions. I also realised I had a ton of gold nuggets, so I made some more gold. I also needed a new diamond pickaxe, as mine broke in the nether. Being back home again, I decided to work on my farms, breeding the chickens and bone mealing my crops. I then out of nowhere got raided by some pillagers. I really didn't want to fight them, but I knew I had no choice. It ended up being quite an easy fight, and after two attempts, I put the ominous banner up. I then decided I wanted to expand my farm and build an area to lure in some cows and sheep for leather and wool, and maybe food. I managed to find my first cow and lure them back to the pen, but finding a second was going to prove to be a big task. I did however find plenty of sheep and get those back to the pen. I then got a little bit distracted by villagers and decided I wanted to get a few emeralds. For those that don't know, these fletchers who offer stick trades are the best value. I also stole the villagers crops but I'm sure they won't mind. I got some wheat, carrots, beetroots, and even a potato. Once I returned home again, I realized I was going to need 15 bookshelves to get a max enchantment on my pickaxe. I had zero, and so my sugarcane farm and my hunt for sugarcane and leather began. I also had to gather some wood for the bookshelves. I finally found my second cow, and so the process of getting 15 bookshelves could finally begin. I really hope you enjoyed today's voiceover, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. This is the process I now had to go through of getting more sugarcane for paper, leather for books, and books for bookshelves. So let's go back to me live with 15 bookshelves. Right, so 
I've done it. I got myself 15 bookshelves. This took so long. I'm going to be completely honest with you right now. What I had to do was I stood here looking out of the window at the sugar cane and just left it there for at least two or three hours. I was just like coming back into the game, going down, harvesting the sugar cane. In the end, the cows became more of a problem than the sugar cane did. But anyway, I now have myself 15 bookshelves, which means that if I click onto this enchantment table right here, put my diamond pickaxe in, we can get a level 30 enchantment. And it's actually got silk touch as well, which is exactly what I wanted. So we'll pop some lapis in there. It's going to take three lapis lazuli and three enchantment levels, but we have ourselves now an enchanted pickaxe. Efficiency four and silk touch. It's not the best enchantment, but... It's still an enchantment. As you can see, we've still got 34 levels. So when I was harvesting the sugar canes and like breeding the cows and stuff like that, we got a few more levels. So I thought, just for a little treat for the video, let's enchant the sword as well. So let's see what enchantment we're going to get on this. Oh, sharpness three. That's not bad. Let's see if we can get anything else on there too. Oh, just sharpness three. It's not awful, but it's not the best. However. We now have ourselves an enchanted pickaxe and an enchanted diamond sword with silk touch as well, which means that next episode, we're going to be going into the mines again, finding some more diamonds, making ourselves full diamond armor, and then we're going to head back into the nether. One more thing I wanted to show you before I ended the video is I did mention the fact that I was going to be brewing some potions and I was able to do that. So I brewed three potions of poison, as you can see right there, and three potions of strength which I made last for a little bit longer by using some redstone. Uh, I also brewed some mundane potions and some splash water bottle potions by accident. But we're going to need a lot more stuff than the nether. For example, we're going to need a gas tier. We're going to need some magma cream and so on. So that's what's going to happen in the next episode. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed today's episode and you want to see more. And don't forget to fill up the comment sections with your thoughts on the video and what you want to see in the future. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.